to show you guys this jig close up or live whatever instead of just doing like the uh, pictures that I normally do anyway it's the depths violator jig man it's almost too pretty to throw check out that sweet collar on it and I don't know if this is gonna come up but man it's like a baby blue and brown uh, living rubber anyway this is a bad little jig man um, nice hook on it um, it really see how it really puffs that skirt out yeah so I was I've been you know doing a little pitching with it a little flipping um, but I wanted to see how it skipped docks and I was like man I wonder if this collar is gonna affect it or anything like that it didn't skips beautifully um, might skip better than the flat flat back jig um, hard to say though because my skipping skills vary day to day hour to hour <laughs> second to second but anyway it's got a nice long skirt on it man you can swim it whatever everything but I was rigging it with the OSP do life craw that electric blue why was I using such a nice uh, trailer because I'm bougie that's why and why not man but I was also using the black and blue of course jig and I was running through different trailers like I tried the, the shrimp in a few different sizes man this shrimp is such a sleeper bait um, but yeah I was trying that I ran through few different styles you know like little uh, chunk craws and anything but man they wanted like something short and compact so this fit the bill uh, beaver tail also worked so that's it man knock the paint off that jig let's go hey everyone welcome to northern strain style and today we're talking about the depths violator jig how come every time you do a beautiful skip you never catch a bass well that's my problem this year um the only good skips i made this year i caught i think like two pike and man when i straight like body slammed the jig or belly flopped it right in there man then i would catch a bass like that horrible skip and uh yeah anyway the depths violator jig man go out and get you one it is an awesome awesome jig and a great hook big hook on it um beautiful skirt man they make this jig in awesome colors flips great man i've had such a great hookup uh ratio on this and man super versatile jig too pitching pads skipping docks out deep and definitely swim jig material so yeah man i'm just cruising along the bank anything that looks worthy i'm hitting it the dock right there was just a little patch of pads in between these docks um if you're ever dock fishing and you see like you know, a lot of times when you're dock fishing, these people, the or the the bank's pretty bare, you know. So if you ever see a um, pad clump or a lay down or a stick up, you know, make sure to hit it. Catch a lot of fish doing that. Yep, depths violator jig. Um, rigging it with that OSP, dual live craw, that electric blue. Man, such a good combo. And when I was flipping it, I was using that OSP Do Live Shrimp at 6 inch. Here I'm out deep, just dragging it. 7.5 uh, rod when I'm not flipping. 16 pound line out deep. 7 to 1 gear ratio. Yeah. 
the Depp's line of jigs is the best there is out there, hands down. Um, from their football jig to this jig to the flat back, man, it's hard to compete. And yeah, a jig's a jig. Well, man, don't get outfished by one of these, you know? So, yep, just dragging along the bottom. One of my secret tactics, too, for uh, catching fish is not paying attention, you know. So when you're not paying attention, you're probably going to get bit. But you don't know it that you're not paying attention, if that makes any sense. So, anyway, hooked up, leaning on them. So yeah, I hope everybody had a really good fishing year, and hopefully you're still out there a little bit. I know in Minnesota it's starting to wind down. Yep. When the spot's more important than landing the bass. Gotta make that waypoint mark. Yep. Great jig, man. If you guys get a chance to splurge on a jig man this is the one or that headlock jig anyway that's the episode guys thanks for watching